Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello creepy friends, welcome to Nixie Bobs and we have a few things to talk about before I kick off with this, uh, which is probably guessed, look fantastic, December box, can you believe it's December, it's like come around like that, I'm so freaked out by the fact that it's December, so look fantastic, it's kind of come under a little bit of fire with box subscriptions recently. I got an email during the week and apparently they are going to be changing the pricing plan. I think if you sign up now you have to pay £13 a month if you do a 12 month subscription whereas if you signed up for a long time like myself I still have to pay £11.25. Um, they are also as well to new subscribers giving away brush sets and we didn't get the chance for those. They've had quite a lot of uh, backlash from that that I've seen over social media so whether they're going to be able to get those out to the long-term subscribers like myself, I don't know. Um, I do feel sorry for you if you decide to sign up now on a 12 month sub and uh, have to pay a tamp site more than I do. That's a shame. But they are sort of saying as well that they're going to be making more choices available. They're going to be trying to put bigger items in the boxes. So I think when they've sort of watched my videos, they've watched a couple and commented, it's like, oh, that's so exciting. Um, I think they're definitely taking notice of the fact that sort of vloggers like myself are saying you know, this could be a little bit better, why are we only getting such small sizes, I thought we were going to get, be getting better stuff, so it's cool that you're taking notice of that guys. It's the LF Xmas box, and just so you know, we did actually get L as well, but as you guys probably know, I don't really read that. It'd be nice if you had the option to choose L or not, or have a product instead, because I would gladly have another product over L. They spend four quid giving us that every month, and I just think you could put something else in, just an idea there. <gasps> and I'm so excited. Should we rip into it? Because I'm really excited. I took it out of the box, but that's as far as I've got so far. I love the lid. The lid is like so festive and reflecty. Look. <laughs> brochure. Always the brochure. And it's nice to see someone not so covered in makeup on the front. I don't like ripping these. Okay, you guys will get first look before me. Good gosh, where do I start? Um, okay, let's start with something I know, which is... Balance Me. I have heard of Balance Me. We've had a lot of Balance Me products over Glossy, Birch and this one. Uh, this is a pure skin face wash and as you guys probably know I'm very settled on Liz Earl so it's probably not going to be one I use but I will give it to my mother. If your skin is suffering from congestion, blemishes and dullness this face wash will face, I can never say face wash properly, will bring it back to life. It contains grapefruit oil to gently cleanse the skin while it's sulfate free formula leaves you feeling comfortable and refreshed. Should we see what it smells like? Fruity as hell. Thank you for that one. Going straight to my mum. Next thing we have. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Ah, 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 look, look, the Luke Kingsley Elasticizer. I have been wanting to try this forever. Forever and ever. I've seen it across so many places like QVC, beauty pages, everywhere has said that this is an amazing product, especially if you've got damaged hair kind of like mine. My hair is wet. Let me clear this up because I wasn't going to wash it and then I started combing it to style it and it was filthy so I was like okay gotta wash it. Luckily I didn't spoil any makeup which I'm really shocked about. Intensive super conditioning pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types it adds elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine. I thought that was a leave-in treatment so that's one thing I didn't know. Uh, how do you use it for best results? Use regularly before shampooing wet hair and pine sections working with your, with your fingertips. Cover with a plastic cap and leave for 10 to 20 minutes for washing, rinse well and follow with appropriate Philip Kingsley, I won't be doing that, shampoo and conditioner and scalp toner, fine hair textures after applying, apply sparingly through mid lengths and ends. So I can't do this now because obviously I've just washed it and trying to find a time to do it in the next couple of weeks is going to be a bit manic but I'll work it out because I've wanted to try these for such a long time. I can't begin to tell you I've just wanted to try it. You know what I could do actually and it's probably not a good idea. Uh, if I go out tomorrow morning I could like put it in my hair, plait my hair, put my hair in a plastic cap, put a hat on, and no one would know! There's a great idea for you. What should I have next? Let's just have this thing, because I don't know what it is. COQ10 caviar face mask. That's got to be expensive. Caviar face mask sheet. Here it is. It's huge. Let's do the woman. For a hydrating treat in the colder weather, use Skin Republic face mask. It contains a blend of caviar, which is extremely rich in vitamins, to moisturise the skin, such as vitamin E, which helps to keep the skin protected from environmental aggressors. Which haze also helps to fight blemishes, and COQ10 keeps the skin healthy. Now, I'm going to put the price of this down here if I can find it, because I'm betting my life that is probably very, very expensive. The fact that caviar is in it, it's probably expensive, but 
uh, I'm looking forward to trying a new treatment because I have actually run out of uh, a Lizelle one that I own. So this is going to be cool. Uh, it's definitely, oh it is, it's one of those full on burglar face mask type things where literally you've just got holes for eyes. That's going to be really fun. I should go to the door in that, shouldn't I? That would be even more fun. Next gift. Let's, let's go. <gasps> Illamasqua. I've been wanting to try Illamasqua forever. Oh my gosh, look, it's an Illamasqua product. I don't even know what it is, but it's Illamasqua and I'm excited because it's Illamasqua. Oh my gosh. What is it? I don't know. Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. What do you do? What are you for? Let's find out. It looks so damn fancy. This has got to be expensive. <laughs> Look, even the cap's fancy. That's got to be, it's got to be. What do you do? What are you for? Hydra, oh, it's a primer, lovely. For a flawless complexion that base that and make up the last look no further than the Illamasqua's Hydra Veil. It contains a blend of vitamins B, B, 3 and C, as well as microlage to nourish the skin whilst providing a long lasting base for your foundation. So let's have a little swatchy. Okay, that sets it sit, sets it into the skin very, very quickly. I've got very little stick and wetness on my hand after just one quick application. That's a lot like Professional and uh, the Smashbox one, which name up Photo Finish, that one. A lot like that in its consistency and a lot like that in its texture. Unfortunately, as you can see, I have my makeup on, so I can't put it on for today, uh, but I look forward to trying this tomorrow. I'm definitely going to give it a go. So long as my blemishes have improved, I'm having a bad breakout on my forehead and I've got like the mother of all evil on this cheek here. This is just not good, is it? It's just I just need a bucket load of heavy duty concealer right now. Next thing, let's just go to this big thing right here. This bubble tea, but oh, it's a bomb. I was thinking it was like a sponge. I was seeing that and thinking, oh, big beauty blender. Here it is. And it is hibiscus and acai berry. The restoring bark is used as a blend of goji berry extracts, tea notes and essential oils, helping to deliver nourishment to all skin types. And as well as that, it is, this is not food, do not eat. <laughs> Look at that, that's genius. I love that you put that on there. <laughs> Uh, SLS free, paraben free, so it's actually good for sensitive skin types as well, so that's great. <laughs> I still love Lush, but like if this works and it's a lovely bomb, so if you've not used a bomb before, maybe you haven't, uh, you basically throw them in water, it fizzes up, it goes around the bar, go, and you get silky water, smelly water, sometimes bubbly water, and they look lovely. Oh my god. It's fruity. It's not. You know what it reminds me of actually is uh, Body Shop's Cranberry Joy Shower Gel before they discontinued it and brought in spiced crap. Sorry, I'm not on board with what Body Shop have done this year. They have no candied apple. They have no frosted plum. They've taken it away and replaced it with spice stuff and I do not like it. Lovely. This is going to be saved for Christmas. I'm so happy with that. I just hope to God I don't react to it. I really, really hope I don't react to it. Technically speaking, I shouldn't. Last product is this. And it's an ultra matte lipstick in <gasps> madness red. Look at that shade. <gasps> Should we try it on? I'm so excited already just from looking at it. <laughs> I love getting makeup products and this is also a full size from what I can tell. <gasps> it's like the perfect red. It's my perfect, perfect red. Look at that shade. <gasps> it's not quite pillar box red. It's kind of, it's like it has almost a darker undertone. I always say a black undertone, but it probably isn't. <gasps> Let's put it on. It's like the perfect red for me and I love the tube even the tube just sort of says old-fashioned and vintage to me I love that and it is by Mellow who I've not heard of but I'm now completely intrigued by this is the shade it looks a lot more pillar boxy on camera than it actually is it definitely comes out a little bit more dark I love it I really really love it it kind of tastes coconutty though really does it almost it's reminding me of chicken korma <laughs> And I don't know why. It's reminding me of Gorma. In a nice way. I like chicken Gorma. That has got to be one of the best LF boxes we've had in quite a few months, I have to say, because we are done now, unfortunately. I think don't think there's a single thing I don't want to try out or use. Everything here is going to get used. The mask, the space wash, the elasticizer, the primer, the lipstick, the bomb. Great box, guys. Really, really great box. Definitely picking up. And I think you're definitely listening to people when they say that they want differentiation, more full size stuff, a lot less tester style stuff. I know you're kind of bordered by a price range in that, but thank you for listening to us for all that stuff. And please 
give us long-term subscribers a brush it's too. Thank you everyone for watching this and being here. I'm in a quiet voice for a reason, I can't tell you why. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. Thank you to anyone who does subscribe and takes time out of their day, valuable time, to watch my little self clown around. Uh, we've got a makeup video coming up on Christmas Day as well. I'm going to do two videos in advance to put out at the Christmas season so that, you know, you've got something to watch if you want to. If you're full up of mince pies and chocolate and it's Christmas, I'm excited, the stocking's up, I've got the monkey over there. <laughs> Can you believe it's December? I still can't. Uh, comment if you want, it's up to you. I will see you all again for another video of just about anything going on in my life. Birchbox is coming up. Birchbox was not put out last month because there was nothing good to say about it. It was a pretty bad box. I had nothing good in it. In fact, it was a shame. Uh, I know we're getting a benefit thing in this month, so keep a watch out for that one. It'll be coming when it's dispatched and arrived at the house. I'll see everyone again. Bye!